not Marvin. We'll see it. Kinda. Those, the thing I don't like about those is they wear out so quickly. Oh, I don't know. It's because you went over the black. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So now I can leave that line, line there. Yeah, shows up. So right now, I want to. I'm going to mark here and here. And I'm going to check and see that these. To bend marks because this is going to be a right angle bend so it's going to be here and here those two have to be the same distance from our joint center or anywhere on our joint that we're measuring to 9.2 9.4 so we need to make it 9.3, which is basically right here. And actually, no. It has to be this one. Okay, that's the one it has to be. That one is 8.3. Eight and that one was nine point two. So what's halfway between eight point eight and nine point two? What this is is our bend mark for our Do we need to go over that again? Not on the shoe, or we thought it was in the middle. Marked it, marked where the sole crosses, took a measurement, and determined that it needed. In order to clear the shoe sole, we needed to bend it at that point, and we wanted that to be in the center, so we centered it within that point. Okay, so now we're ready to do our bending of our stirrup. I'm gonna put it on that line. But before we bend it, we need to make sure that this is square. That looks pretty square. Tighten that so it doesn't slip. And then we do our bend. Do the same on the other side. So you see that's not square. We want it to be square. Because if it's not square, then these are not going to be square. Then you're going to have to redo, do some crazy stuff to make it square. that. I <laughs> can't been through that so.
now we go back to our drawing. And this is where we want our, now we're gonna go back to our floor line because we're lining up for the stirrup. We want our floor line, well, not our floor line, but our sole line is what we're gonna be bending to. Let's reemphasize that one, that's right here. It's our, this line right here is our sole line. Floor line, sole line. That needs to be perpendicular to the edge of our paper. We're gonna fold it now, reverse fold. We're, you know, we've reversed, we've gone to the other reverse side of our paper now. We're gonna fold that along there. That's gonna be what we're bending and measuring everything to. So that has to be perpendicular to the edge of our table. This is where if you have this on like another, like a long end, like maybe here, if you were, let's just do that. If you have to measure your whole okay, KFL. Okay. So if you want it on a long table, we could bring a plastic table. Now we take our stirrup and we lay it down with the point. So our, our uh, the front end of the stirrup is going towards the table, and this is where we want to make this line up. And you can see that if we look down, look down and look at where our lines are, these are actually slightly lateral to what our lines were. That's because we turned the shoe. It's actually wider than the base of our shoe because we had to make the stirrup fit in our aligned position. So basically what we have to do now is make sure that this position, where our stirrup relates to our ankle joint, is right in line with what we drew originally. So that means we need to go a little farther in here and quite a bit farther in here, and then we'll do, then we'll do the square at the, at the upper end of it. You can see that this is actually lower than our joint axis. That's why we don't attach everything first. We're gonna that's we're gonna play with that. That's gonna it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be off maybe a quarter of an inch, but that's okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one, bend both of these in a little farther, and some of this we can do manually. So if we, we'll get my uprights now and put that in the place. It's pretty close, so right below our joint head, we're gonna bend those in so that they're parallel to each other, okay? We can do that just in the jig here. Our, we want this to be vertical, close to it.
looking to see that this is parallel to our joint head and we're very close but we're not perfect yet so this is there's a couple ways of doing this and the easiest tool for you to use would be your tri square and I don't know what happened to my my you had one didn't you I have yeah. one you have one okay we'll use it is square, right? So we can use this, and this is a simple tool to use. There's others that are even nicer than this, but we want, when I, when this touches here, it needs to be also be touching there. Okay, so if you look at that, that means that this head needs to be tilted in that amount, right? For that to be parallel. So that's in that plane. In the transverse plane, we're gonna check what it looks like. Again, these should hit at the same time. Now this one is hitting on the this, this side first, right? You see that? It's hitting right there and we have a little bit of gap on this side. So that means this one needs to twist that way. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see it? Can you do the other one again? This one? Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. So where will I, will I be bringing in this side? You're going to be bending. We're, we're, the side that you have this, okay, one thing I've talked about it, this is the gun and you're shooting at the target. Oh, okay. So you want to make sure you're shooting straight at the target. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. so you're, you're moving your gun, not the target. Okay. Okay. So we need to tilt that in just a hair. This is where people can start going crazy because you get just little ways and go, oh, I went too far. <laughs> and then I go back and back and forth. <laughs> so let's see what if we did anything. See, I needed to do more. Put a little more bumps into it. Was that the one I was working on? Oh. Yeah, that was the one I was working on. So, yeah. See what happened? That was too far. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it doesn't take much. <laughs> Back to where we started. <laughs> okay, those line up now, right? Mm. See? Mm -hmm. So that one's fine that direction, but now we need to check the twist. So our twist is just slightly off. If we do it from the other side, it'll, it'll gap on that. So if we do it backwards, you can see it gap. Almost, it's actually very close. Let's call it right. <laughs> Don't touch it. Let's just check it over here just to see what it looks like. Are they screwed any holes in there yet? No. Good luck. <laughs> this is the one we were working on, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's parallel. It's right where it needs to be. Okay. So now we're going to do this side. Flip it over. Put our... Oh, it's over there. <laughs> no, we did one side, but not the other. So oh, this is the side we did, right? No, that's not the side we did. This is the side we did. So that, that's fine. 
Okay, now let's switch. The tongue is facing me now. Let's put it on there. Again, so it's gapping a lot mm -hmm. that way. And this way, it's twisted a lot more. Again, if we reverse it, you can see there's a gap there, right? So you gotta twist it. So first of all, let's bend it in. That one went too far. Now you can see how the frustration can go. I'm if you do worried. this 10 I times, hate you hate it already, huh? Should we go for it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's check this one. Not far, but we got a little bit of a twist. So we need to go. Just a go back the other way just a hair. See? You do one, it can mess up the other one. <laughs> so you, you if you look at this it doesn't look square to what we drew but we know these two joints are square and that's more important so we're now done with our stirrup for now we're not <laughs> going to do any more to the shoe we'll do that later okay <laughs>